Hello folks, welcome to Paul's Garage, and yup, my name is Paul. So if you've not been here before, a very big warm welcome, and if you have, well, welcome back. So what are we talking about today? So today we're just talking about this, and this is the Kais J505 RP Premium Extreme Heated Motorcycle Jacket. Yup, it is a bit of a mouthful. So this is gonna be really good for you hardened year-round commuters, and for those motorcyclists like myself, who in those colder months can't be bothered to layer up and go outside when you actually want to go outside but you can't be bothered because it's too cold this is going to be a brilliant jacket for you as well so i've just discovered the holy grail of cold weather riding and it is heated clothing so after a little bit of internet research i finally decided to purchase this jacket from kais it cost me about 187 pound plus tax and I purchased it through Sports Bike Shop and I put all the information in the description box down below. So go and check them out. So stick around and I'll tell you all you need to know about this Kais heated motorcycle jacket. But first of all, let's see what we get in the box. So it's always good when somebody gives you something free of charge. So as of November 2022, Kais have decided to give you free of charge this jacket temperature controller. Well done, Kais. And then we get this lovely red and black box. So in the box, we have some product information. So we get the product range and instruction manual. Go and read that if you want. And then we get a list of do's and don'ts and recommendations from Kais while you're wearing the jacket. And then we get a power connector cable to connect your battery to the jacket with some fuses. And then finally, the jacket and that red and black box Go and do with that as you see fit. So there we go, we've got a lovely jacket and then we have the power cable to connect the battery to the jacket and then we have the temperature controller for the jacket. So let's go and have a look at the jacket. So who are Kais? They're a UK company. They've been around since 2004. They're one of the leading companies in the production of heated clothing. The actual jacket itself comes with a two year warranty but the actual heating elements, the micro carbon fiber heating elements and that is a mouthful to say that actually comes with a lifetime warranty so let's talk about the construction of the jacket so it's designed by kais in the uk but manufactured in china and i've been wearing this jacket now for 10 days two weeks and i have to say it's a nicely put together jacket so no issues with the quality of the jacket whatsoever how is it constructed well we've got four layers to the jacket so the outer layer is a polyester material a little bit of stretch to it and that's a breathable layer but it's not waterproof and then beneath that we've got a wind blocker membrane and then beneath that we've got the micro carbon fiber heating elements and then finally beneath that we've got a very nice comfort lining which is a kind of a fleecy kind of material so overall a very nicely put together jacket and i should have bought one years ago so heating elements so the front of the jacket's heated the back's heated the arms are heated and nicely around the collar as well so yeah it's just a, a very nice garment to wear so pockets wise so we have three pockets for personal use two uh, down here and then one on the chest. Nothing on the inside, because obviously Kais want the heat to come to the body as much as possible. And my old man's iPhone 11 case will actually fit in all of those three personal pockets, shall we say. Other pockets on the jacket, so they are for cable management and power supply to other Kais bits of kit. So two at the bottom of the uh, sleeves for gloves, then you've got uh, one on the underside uh, here, which is for you to connect to the power supply on, in my case, on my BMW, uh, which would then heat the jacket. And then you've got the zip here on the front that contains the power source uh, from the bike into the jacket itself. And if you didn't have the power controller, and it's very nice that Kais do actually supply the power controller free of charge now. If you didn't have the power controller before, all you had was a, a looped wire. And basically when you plugged your jacket into the bike with this cable here, then it would go straight to full power and it would get very hot very quickly. And you have to keep unplugging the jacket from the bike. So good job Kais in supplying this heating controller, power controller free of charge. So the nice thing is, although it's not waterproof, if you finish your riding for the day, this is a really nice uh, mid layer as well, folks, with that wind blocker in it and that sort of fleecy lining. So it would make a really good mid layer. And also for a jacket you can wear off the bike once you've finished with your uh, main top jacket, in my case, my textile jacket, you can just tuck everything away, put all the power control away, and you're left with what I think is quite a nice looking garment as well. So you've got some stretch panels down the side here. And again, 
kayaks actually say they, they want to get the best heat into the body. They want the jacket to be nice and snug, but we'll talk about the sizing very soon. So yeah, I like the jacket. So nice little pieces here from Kais uh, of branding, uh, nothing too garish, and on the back as well, and the bit of red piping down the jacket. So all told, together with the elasticated uh, wrists as well, all told, it's just a very nice bit of kit, and it's, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with my purchase. So I think what we do now is just talk about how do we connect all this stuff and operate it once you get on the bike. So let's go and do that now. So here we are then. I've now donned the lovely 505 jacket and it is actually Kaiser's warmest jacket to date. And the power required to heat this jacket is actually 6.5 amps. So how do we get the power from the motorbike into the power connector lead on the jacket? Well, basically there's three ways we can do that. So the first way is if your bike has got the Optimate charger cable fitted, then you can simply get an adapter plug and that will connect the bike from the Optimate plug into the power plug on the jacket. Second method is if your bike's got auxiliary sockets, cigarette sockets, that kind of thing, or DIN sockets, again, Kais have got that covered so you can get an adapter lead for that. However, my BMW, although it's got a DIN socket down here, I can't use that cable, that DIN cable, because my bike will only allow five amps to be drawn out of those sockets. So clearly this jacket's 6.5 amps, so I couldn't go and buy that uh, cigarette slash DIN connector uh, cable to use on the BMW because it only allows me to take five amps out of the sockets, not 6.5 amps that the jacket requires. So my third and final way of getting power from the bike into the jacket, well, I'll just use the power supply cable that comes supplied in the lovely red and black box. So that's what I've done. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to fit that cable to your battery. So I've fitted it on the BMW, but when we go out on the motorbike a little bit later on in the video very shortly you'll just see i've put it onto the ktm 890r and again it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fit that power lead directly to the battery so that's how i've done it but obviously just check your instruction manuals owner's manuals just to see what the maximum draw you can take out of your accessory sockets and if you can take the 6.5 amps that the jacket requires from those sockets then you can go and purchase a cigarette slash din connector plug as well and if you can't do any of those just use the lead that's supplied in the box connected directly to the battery. Kais actually do loads of other kind of leads and extension cables so they've got all avenues covered so as always just go and check on their website and again there'll be a link in the description down below. So what we need to do is just talk about fuses to go with this jacket so let's do that now. So fuses are very important. You need to make sure you have the right rated fuse between the power supply and the jacket. So whatever cable you're using, there will be an inline fuse holder. So all you need to do is Kais very nicely, kindly supply you a little table on a card in your little fuse holder bag. And then basically, so I've got the long sleeve jacket and according to this, it takes seven amps although all the spiel on the internet says 6.5 amps. So let's look at seven amps. So what fuse do I need? So there is no seven amp fuse. So we go to the next one above, which is 7.5 amps and I need a brown fuse. And that's what I've put in the fuse holder. So if I then want to add a pair of gloves, which looking at the chart takes one amp, then I just add seven amps on the jacket to one amp for the gloves, gives me a total of eight amps. So look on the right hand side, there is no eight amps. So I have to go up to 10 amps which will be the red fuse. So that's pretty simple, is it? So I've actually only had one issue with the, the whole of the jacket and all the stuff. And that was with that original fuse holder, which is connected or was connected to the battery. So when I went to put the fuse in, uh, I nearly snapped the bladed fuse. And basically I took a photo of it, sent it to sports bike shop and they sent me a new fuse holder so i don't know if the one that i had originally in that lovely red and black box was just uh, the connections were well basically when you put the fuse in it had to go in on the angle so the fuse um, the female parts of the fuse holder they weren't in line so i don't know if that's how they're designed but uh, i spoke to the sports bike shop and they sent me a new uh, fuse holder the whole cable actually and if you have a look on the picture here, you can see that the female bits where the blades go into are actually in a line. So the fuse sits nice and straight and is not sat on an angle. And in fact, there was another bloke on the internet who actually nearly snapped the fuse as well, putting the, uh, the fuse into the slightly off, 
off, offline fuse holders. I've sent my original one that came in the red and black box back to Sports Bike Shop and they sent me a newer one. So whether that's an older version or a newer version, I have no idea whatsoever, but make any comments in the comment section down below. So let's just talk about this, the uh, heat controller. So just plug your jacket into your power supply and then with the power controller, heat controller, you actually don't even have to look at the heat control itself, the on off button here. All you need to do is with your gloved finger or thumb rather, all you need to do is just hold the whole thing down for about two seconds. You can feel the, uh, like it click, hold it down for two seconds and then that will switch the unit on and it will be on in the high position or high power setting. So there we go, so that's on high. And then if you're riding long and you find it gets too warm, because this will get hot within about 20 seconds, I can feel it getting hot now. So you, again, riding long, you can just press it with a gloved thumb down and that will drop down to medium. Again, you don't have to look at it because uh, you can just feel that little bit of a click on it and then press it again and that will go down to the low, uh, which is green. The only thing is in sunlight, the low power button, the light is just a little bit dim, but that's my only issue with that. But yeah, it's not really an issue. And then if you want to switch it off because it's got too warm outside, again, without looking at the controller with your thumb, glove thumb, you just hold it down for about two seconds and then it'll switch itself off. So very simple. If you've got an open face helmet, look down, absolutely no problems whatsoever. And it doesn't flap around. It sort of sits quite nicely on the thigh or you could actually put it on low setting and tuck it into the jacket, whatever you want to do. And that's how we use the power controller, heat controller. Very simple. So now we come to the all important question of sizing. Well, Kaisa actually advertised this jacket as being a unisex jacket. So ladies, if you've got any comments to make about the fit and form and function of the jacket, make any comments in the comment section down below. That would be lovely. So when you jump onto the Kais size and chart on their website, uh, what they recommend is you take your size and then you go down one size beneath that. So I'm a size 41, 42 inch chest. And according to Kais, I should be a size 40. That's what I should go for. So that's what I've done, which is a size small. And basically they say, if you drop down a size to what you normally wear, then it means that the jacket is nice and snug and those heating elements can get that heat into the body better and more efficiently than your normal size jacket that you would wear. So that's what I've done and absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. It's actually quite a nice stylish garment actually. I really like it. So yeah, I've gone for the size small and I wear it under my Oxford textile jacket and absolutely no issues with it whatsoever. But you do know that it's a little bit on the snug side, but that's what it should be. So there's a few do's and don'ts with the jacket. Um, so when you are wearing it and you're gonna use the heating, Kais do actually recommend that you wear a long sleeved base layer under it purely as a safety precaution to save yourself getting any chance of any burn. So when you're wearing the jacket and you're gonna use the heating on it, wear a long sleeved base layer. And I guess when you're not using the heating, you can get away wearing a t-shirt. But again, if you've got any comments to make about what you're wearing underneath this jacket, put them in the comment section down below. But when you do select the high heat, boy, does it get warm. So I can see why they say wear a long sleeved base layer underneath the jacket. So Kais, as well as doing long sleeve jackets, also do heated vests. So if you don't get on with these, you maybe want to try one of their heated vests. So Kais actually do battery packs for their heated vests and jackets, but this one, because it takes 6.5 to 7 amps, they actually do recommend don't bother with that because the battery will last about 20 minutes. So it's a waste of time. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put a base layer on, get on the KTM 890R, and go out for a spin and tell you what I think about the Kais 505 heated jacket. So let's go now on the KTM. So I've been riding now for about 25 minutes or so and without the, without the 505 switched on, I'm pretty much neutral temperature wise, so very pleasant and I actually wouldn't have to switch the jacket on. So it is plugged into the KTM. So what I'm gonna do is turn it on to low and just see how long it takes for the heat to come through and then we'll get back to you. But low is very pleasant at 10 degrees air temperature. So medium, let's go and fire some shade. And let's see how long it takes to warm up. God, I haven't ridden this bike for months and months. Roads are a bit damp. It's one of those days where, oh yeah, I can feel that medium heat warming up now. Oh very nice. Certainly with a naked bike, heated clothing folks, rather than layering up like Michelin man, 
Peter clothing is definitely the way to go. I mean, there's nothing on the front of the bike other than this little screen here. Yeah, yeah, I can feel that medium heat coming through. I, I could, I could go on this bike all day actually. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, very nice. It's really warm. It's, it's very, very pleasant. I have to say, it is good. We're in the shade. I can feel the cold on my legs actually, and I've got a. A, uh, a full body base layer on, uh, for want of a better word, a spot or spiddy base layer suit, and yeah, I can feel the the uh, cooler temperature on my legs, but my my upper torso is very pleasant, and I could ride this bike all day, and I've got some heated grips on as well, so yeah, it's very pleasant. So I think what we're going to do is maybe try the high temperature, but medium, yeah, pretty impressive we'll put on to high I'm actually getting very warm so I guess if you're a bit chilly just whack it onto high and within 30 40 seconds I can actually feel that heat all the way on my back my front and right down to my my forearms and all the way down the arms so that is working an absolute treat so yeah that is very very tasty very impressed with that very that was so quick to warm up Right, let's go through the tunnel. Yeah, so on the 890R naked, you could actually actually ride this, you know, in all kinds of temperatures in the winter. Nice, nice sunny day, but you know, brassic wise, cold, just whack electric jacket on, heater jacket, and you uh, you can ride all day and you get to have more days when you can actually use the bike in the winter yeah so really happy with that very happy with that you can't not go through the tunnel can you you really can't you can't not go through a tunnel and do that childish i know childish it's very warm i think you'd have to turn it down within a couple of minutes and go to medium or back to low because it is extremely warm. Again, just to help everybody out, put any comments in the comment section down below. You know, if you've ridden minus five with this with this jacket and, and high just about keeps you warm, then yeah, just let everybody know. That'd be really good. But obviously, it's just so nice to be able to take a unfaired naked bike out and ride it and not get cold. And that way you're able to concentrating what's going around you rather than having your teeth chattering away and your bones all shaking because you're so flipping cold and I'm sure we've all uh, ridden on days in the winter months when it's been like that or early in the morning late at night in the spring and the autumn months when you're just shaking like there's no tomorrow and really you're not concentrating on what's going on around you so you could miss something so yeah heated clothing folks it's the way to go so back to the man cave See you soon. Well, that's it, folks. That's the end of the video. I do hope you found it of some use to yourselves if you're in the market for a Kais heater jacket. Certainly, it is an absolute game changer for me, and I actually should have bought one years ago. Really, really impressed with this Kais 5A5 jacket. That's it, guys. As ever, ride safe, and we'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheerio for now. Bye.